Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now I'm going to share how to create transactional replication in SQL Server with remote distributor. I'm going to build following architecture. I will have domain with domain name mydom.com and domain controller. I will have a separate publisher, distributor and subscriber. Let's get started. I have created four servers accordingly. As you can see, I have DC, publisher, subscriber and distributor. All these servers are located in the same network and in the same domain called mydom.com. Firstly, we go to domain controller and create a replication agent service account. This account will be assigned to snapshot agent, log reader agent, and distribution agent. Because of this, we should give DB owner permission to this account in distribution publisher and subscriber databases. Also, this account should have full access to the snapshot folder. Firstly, I start giving full permission to the snapshot folder which I created in distribution server. Then, I assign this account to SQL Server agent in Publisher and Distributor. In the case of push subscription, of course, assignment to SQL Server agent in Subscriber is not necessary, since no replication agent and job is created in Subscriber side. But if you create pull subscription, you should assign also in Subscriber. Then, I add this account as login account and assign DB owner in each respective database. I create a subscriber database called AdventureWorks replicated in subscriber server. I will assign the account as owner in this database. Then I go to distributor and run these queries. I am going to share these queries in GitHub. Please check the description of this video. Firstly, I check whether this server has been configured as distributor and you can see that this is not configured yet. What I am doing here, first I am setting distributor, publisher, server names. Also, I am setting distribution database name. As you can see, I am also setting snapshot folder name also. Also, I am going to publish AdventureWorks 2019 database, which exists in Publisher. So, I am setting this accordingly. Then, I start setting this server as distributor. You should set your own password here and do not forget, because we are going to reuse this in Publisher later. Then, creating the distribution database. Finally, we are setting Publisher server. Please set password here also and do not forget. After setting this distributor, we can check the status by using the stored procedure. Also, we can see distribution database here. Then we will go to publisher and run following command. We should use the same password here as we set in the distributor. Then we will create publication for our AdventureWorks database. We choose transactional replication and here I am only replicating two tables. Here I choose the first option so that initial snapshot file to be created and immediately available for initial seeding. I am choosing SQL Server agent account to be used by replication agents. Finally, setting publication name and creating publication. Wow. 
Then I check snapshot agent status and can confirm that the two snapshots of my two tables have been generated successfully and placed in the snapshot folder. Then I start creating subscription. Here I am choosing push subscription. Then I add subscriber server. I I also set SQL Server Agent account under which distribution agent runs. I choose the agent to run synchron continuously, not at a specific time, because I want the data to be replicated constantly and finally I create subscription. To see the status of distributor agent, we can go to replication monitor and check. As you can see, the replication is going as expected. About 41 comments have been replicated. We can also go to subscriber and confirm the replicated tables started to appear. Here we finished creating transaction replication with remote distributor. Finally, I want to also show you the steps to remove replication. As you might guess, we will start from where we finished while creating the replication. Firstly, we go to subscriber and remove subscription. Then we go to publisher and run two of these comments. First one removes publication and second one removes distribution setting we set earlier. Finally, we go to distributor and run these last three T-SQL commands to completely remove replication. That's all. We removed replication. One point. Also, we removed replication. The replicated data is still remaining. You should delete this separately if you want. If you liked this video, please do not forget to click like button. It means a lot to me and subscribe for my future videos. Thank you for your time.